Hello, this is Dr. Adam Komsky from Advanced Rehab and Medical, and today I want to discuss our topic of the week that we have this week on hip pain, and most notably, gluteal, gluteal tendinopathy. So, one thing is that a misnomer is a lot of people that I see, as patient-wise, have low back pain. What we found in recent research is one-third of those with low back pain actually have hip pain, and a lot of that hip pain is on the lateral aspect. And believe it or not, what they've also found in the literature is that actually bursitis, which we hear a lot, is actually not the cause. It's actually due to a degenerative chronic issue called gluteal tendinopathy. And exactly what that is, is your glute muscles back here, will they come around and attach on this bone here on the side of your leg, and if those, that chronic issue from biomechanics being off and the, that weakness will actually start traction in that, and you actually get a traction ischemia. And so with comp compensating muscles, most notably a TFL muscle that comes across. And so when you look at rehab and exercise, if, it's really good if we do the stretching to calm the TFL muscle down, but if we never address the gluteal muscles and get them nice and strong, then we're just actually getting a little bit better, but we're not getting the great outcomes that we could. So one thing I want to demo today is some of you guys that may have hip pain at home is to do this exercise I'm going to show you. So if you walk around here, I'm actually going to show what we call a clamp. And so one thing is at home is that you may be doing this exercise right here where you come up and come down. However, when you're actually coming down this way, we're actually creating more of that traction ischemia. So one thing that you can do is just grab a towel like I got here. And if you put that between your legs or even your hand, now you can come down and actually still strengthen that glute muscle without adding extra tension on that TFL. So that is one tip. Also, uh, I typically have my patients a, lot, a hand out on sleep posture. And so if you notice that if you're on your side, on the affected one, well, you're adding compression. So that's going to actually limit our progression there. Or sometimes patients say, well, I'm not even laying on that side. Well, what if you're on this side and now this leg is coming over as you sleep? So when you sleep, making sure you keep a pillow between your leg so we're not adding extra tension to the uh, glute, glute bead muscle there and inhibiting our results. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, please be sure to comment in the box below if you have any questions at all. And please be sure to come by our office next Thursday as we have our... Uh, our wellness event coming on and so if you have any questions pick my brain at that we'll be doing some live biomechanic screenings and so a lot of you may have these issues that we'll go over so I hope this was helpful and you guys have a great week